Hi guys, today we are going to create a PDF document from HTML file. This is the example HTML uh, example PDF file that we are going to create. Uh, to create this H PDF file, I used handlebar templates. So this is the template that I used. Simply, a uh, handlebar template is a specially syntaxed HTML. Uh, for example, you can loop in objects using the handlebar syntax. Uh, and I looped in an object in an array called thread here, and every object in the thread has image, Twitter handle, created that name and tweet, and I get this get these objects from the Twitter JSON file, actually from the mock slash Twitter JSON file, and to render this template we need the handlebar module and we need a file system to read the handlebar template from from the file system and first we read the template from the file system then we use the HPS compile me method to compile the HTML string to a template function and the template function is so simple you just need to pass in the data that you want to inject into template and it gives you the rendered HTML string and the result HTML string is available here look it's just the same but with no special syntax and the special syntax is here but it looped over the data I've given to it and the next important part is using puppeteer to create PDF files Puppeteer is basically a Chromium browser, but running headless in the background. So first we need to launch a Puppeteer instance, then create a new page, and we need to set the HTML content that for, of that page manually to have the PDF that we want. And we set the HTML content given to from an from the argument of the function. So, and we can easily create the PDF just saying using the PDF method of the pay page from Puppeteer. We declare the output path given, given from the argument and we want an A4 format and we need to close the browser at the end. So this line above directly converts the HTML page to PDF and saves it to our computer. I'll I will show I'll show that in a second. So let's mix everything together. First, we need to render the template using the thread template I created here. The name is also thread. So and we want the thread object to we we want to inject the thread object. So we give our mock data to thread. I imported also here. The mock data consists of these. I showed before and we give the output name and the HTML content to our create PDF function and it runs. Let's do it. Okay, when we say yarn start. We have our PDF here, nearly created. Thanks for watching.